On the 19th day of Vlogmas, I'm here to tell you, remember to love your sprouts. Yes, it's Sunday. Today's outfit of the day is my new Love Your Sprouts t-shirt. I think I got a size too large but I like that it's a little bit roomy. Gone with a little cheeky French tuck and yes my John Lewis lounge pants with the weird long pockets. Um, I haven't got my slippers on at the moment but I will be wearing my slippers as per usual and I've gone for this little headband. Not only have I gone for this little headband with this cheeky little Christmas hat on, I'm wearing makeup today. Who is she? Yes, I'm wearing makeup. I have my Galen meteorite on my face for a little bit of sparkle. I'm wearing my Charlotte Tilbury eyes to mesmerizing colour jean. I don't know if it's still called jean. I don't know if it's still available. I've got my Dior lash and pump and lash uh, mascara on and I have just got some um, Chanel lip balm. That's it, no actual colour. Might pop a bit of colour on later. And I've got a little splash of Dior Joy Eau de Parfum Intense on today because I felt like going the whole hog. What have we got on today? Well, I did promise you an exciting collaboration today and it is going to be very exciting. It is a baking collaboration with the wonderful Tanya of Bits and Bags. I'm going to take you down to the kitchen now and uh, talk to you a bit more about Tanya when we're there. Meow. Is it this? Oh, it's, I'm going to try and get you in focus. Oh, oh yes, Daisy. Daisy, Daisy. No, oh, you were so funny. You were so funny. That's it, Daisy. Good girl. Yeah. Me up in the bin. Oh, good girl, clever baby. Oh, yes, yum yums. Right then, let's do it. Lily came in and then she went straight back out again, so I don't think she's interested in having a licky licks today. But someone is. Aren't you, Daisy? Yes, you are. Ready? Pardon? Meow. Should we put you down here? Oh, I nearly lost my hat. My bubble hat. Not a hat. Please excuse the state of the floor. I have been cleaning all the work surfaces today. And, oh, hello, Lily. Would you like one now? You can have your own. Would you like one now, Lily? Yeah? Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've been cleaning all the work surfaces this morning, ready for this baking exercise, this baking collaboration with the lovely Tanya. And uh, basically just swept everything on the floor so we can um, vacuum it up. And, oh, Lily. You're very excited about... Ugh, I've just got it everywhere, all over my fingers. <laughs> Meow, is it Lily? Oh, hello. Now you know you have yours here. There you go, baby. Daisy, I'm watching you. Daisy. Let your sister have hers. Was that good? Was that good? Did you like that? You're welcome. This wine that we picked up at Majestic yesterday we had it last night with the lovely cottage pie that the hubby made from scratch, which was absolutely delicious. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed this wine with it and after it. 
You can see the bottle's empty. It was absolutely delicious. This was really nice and light and easy to drink. Um, it was just smooth and... Do you mind? I'm trying to film here, kittens. In and out the cat flap. Um, yeah, so it was really, really, really just so easy to sip and drink and yes, we will definitely be getting more of that. Cat flaps going like the clappers. Did anyone watch Strictly last night? Oh my God, what a final. Oh my God. It was such a shame that AJ was injured and couldn't take part because she is phenomenal. Every single one of those finalists absolutely deserved to win. And I think it was brilliant, a brilliant season. I thought it was great. I thought it was groundbreaking. I've loved watching Strictly for years. It's always hopeful and joyful and happy and just full of love and support and all of those wonderful good things. But this year was something special, really, really special. Um, the lion watched the whole thing with me. There was a lot of tears, a lot of tears last night. Absolutely fantastic. Anyway, today, back to today. Love your sprouts. Never forget, love your sprouts. Love them. Right, enough of that nonsense. Okay, so today, Today I am doing a cheeky little Christmas Vlogmas collab with the wonderful Tanya of Bits and Bags. She is doing Vlogmas as well. I've mentioned in a previous Vlogmas episode that I really wanted to make shortbread. I meant to do it last Vlogmas but didn't get around to it. And I still haven't made shortbread from scratch so I'm going to do that today. And when I mentioned it in my Vlogmas, Tanya messaged me and said, Babe, should we do a baking collab, a Christmas baking collab? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. I will have her video linked down below. She is almost at 1,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already subscribed to Tanya, go on, make her Vlogmas, make her Christmas, make her year. Head on over on the link down below to the video and while you're there, subscribe to her. You won't regret it. This is the shortbread that I am used to having. I don't know if this is proper shortbread, authentic shortbread, um, shortbread as God intended, I do not know. Uh, excuse me? Do you mind? Oh, we interrupt this broadcast to bring you Lily, who really doesn't like being picked up, do you, baby? I'm not having you kill another Sprouts t-shirt, though. No? She's so much better than she was last year at being picked up. Shall I put you down now? Say hello. Okay, bye bye. Was that okay? Was that was that an agreeable length of time to be held? So I don't know if these are the benchmark for shortbread, but this is the shortbread that I am used to having Christmas any other time of the year. Um, pure butter, assorted shortbread. Mine will not look anything like this. Mine, if if I'm lucky, mine are going to come out looking a little bit like this finger stick at the back here. Um, there won't be any fancy shapes with hearts or anything like that because I am not a baker and this will become very apparent as we go along. So this is the packet, this is what it is supposed to look like. We will do a comparison once mine are made. That's, that's what I'm aiming for. You can see kind of the thickness of them. That's what I'm aiming for. Well, we'll see if I manage it. Leave that up on the side there for reference. In this bowl, I have 128 grams of unsalted butter, which I chopped up earlier from the fridge and I've just left it in here to warm up slightly because the recipe says it should be softened. I have got 180 grams of plain flour that I will, when I add it to the mix, I will sift it using the sifter there. And I have 55 grams of caster sugar. Who knew that's all it took? I've got the recipe on the bbc.co.uk website. I will link that down below. It says, try making these easy buttery shortbread biscuits for an afternoon activity with the kids. I am a big kid, so this works. Um, the recipe also works with chocolate chips or orange zest added to the dough. Ooh, orange zest, that sounds nice. It tells me to preheat the oven, but then it also tells me to put this in the fridge for 20 minutes once it's mixed. What is going on with you cats? I don't know. Is it? You've had a licky licks. 
rolling pin because the husband's in the kitchen and he's being cheeky. <laughs> no, because I remembered I needed rolling pin. What is going on with you cats? My God, this is not going to go well at all. Right, we're going to have um, we're going to have a little cheeky mince pie. They're heavy. They're good ones. They're, they're the weight trade ones. Thank you. Bye. A friend of mine makes the most amazing teeny tiny little mouthful mince pies. Um, personally, I'm not going to go to that level of effort because I don't like them that much. As far as mince pies go, that was quite delicious. So, stage one. Beat the butter and the sugar together until smooth. Are you softened enough? A little bit. Okay. So this is a 55 grams of caster sugar. Look at how sparkly it is. I do like caster sugar. Let's dump that in there. We will be sprinkling with more caster sugar a bit later on. So beat it until smooth. This might not be warm enough. Do you bake shortbread? Do you bake things specifically for Christmas? Or are you like me and you tend to buy, buy these things ready made? Oh my gosh. this on the radiator for five minutes. Hello from down here. I couldn't leave the bowl on the radiator because the bowl was too big to sit on the radiator without support so I've spent the last six or seven minutes um, leaning against the radiator balancing this and trying to beat the butter and sugar together uh, looking like some kind of loon but that is done now so the next step, stir in the flour to get a smooth paste and then turn it onto a work surface. I have a work surface. Um, and gently roll out until the paste is one centimetre thick. Paste makes it sound a little bit runny, doesn't it? It's a little bit runny. Okay, let's do this like this. There we go. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Anyone watching who has actually made shortbread successfully is probably watching now and going, What are you doing, Gwenny? Stop it! You're murdering it! Sorry about that, guys. Um, my phone went, so I, uh, I took the opportunity to carry on mixing all of this together while I was on the phone. So it looks like we're ready to pop this out onto the work surface. Now it doesn't say anything about needing to flour the work surface. It doesn't look particularly sticky. Um, so we're just gonna plop it out and see what happens. I'm gonna try and prep my baking tray. This is like a silicon sheet. So I've been using these for a couple of years now instead of um, throwaway baking parchment. The only annoying thing is you can't really put them in the dishwasher because they flap around all over the place and get caught and stuff. Um, so you have to wash them by hand. And, and then how do you drain them? You've got to try and, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Right, that's a dollop of butter, flour and caster sugar. And now I've got to try and roll this out until it's a centimetre thick. Really didn't say anything about you a flowered surface. Maybe I should flower it, I don't know. 
more professional bakers than I let me know should I be flowering the surface for something like this should I be doing this I think I might roll it on here that might be a better roll it on here and I might be able to cut it into shape so this is supposed to make 20, 20 to 24 fingers. I think that's uh, a good thickness, is it? There's a little bit there in the middle that looked a bit... Is that a good thickness? Let's compare it to the real one. There's not going to be any rising. How is that meant to be 24? This is exciting, isn't it? So I need to separate these and then stab them with a fork. Um, I might try and reshape those ones a little bit. Oh, this isn't going to go well, I don't think. I do not have a good feeling about this. The state of those. Look at them. They're all different sizes and shapes. <laughs> and it's supposed to be nice little stabs. I don't know how far down you're supposed to go. smoothly does it and now we need to sprinkle with some caster sugar have you ever made your own christmas cards and gone a little bit nuts with the glitter that is kind of embarrassing <laughs> Right, these need to go in the fridge for 20 minutes and while they're in the fridge for 20 minutes I am going to preheat the oven to 170 degrees fan which is 60, 70, 80, 90, 90. Pop these in the fridge and then we'll go and do some advent calendars Let's do some advent calendars Jin 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 Sounds like the theme tune to um Game of Thrones. Jin 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 Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Yuck. This is Edinburgh Gin Distillery Mold Gin. That sounds horrible. I'm not even going to open it. I'm going to see if my mum would like it. I'm building up a bit of a collection here that needs to go downstairs. Right. Chocolate. Be good to me. Chocolate because I'm not eating enough sweet bad stuff for myself today. Mince pies. Hopefully shortbread. If that works.
Next year I'm using nails to keep these things up. Right, 19. <gasps> Florentine Isabel, right. Which is my husband's favourite one from Hotel Chocolat. So he's getting this. Look at what today's is. Yeah, I'll always have one of those. Yeah, it's your favourite. Thanks. Enjoy! And while we're wandering around, Look at this little cutie, spread out on the bed. Hello. Are you having a nice rest? Are you all tangled up in my, um, in my robe thing? What do you call it? Belt. Hello. Honestly, I forget so many words and struggle to form a sentence ever since I've been ill. Just taking these out of the fridge. They've uh, solidified nicely. Look at how uneven they are, but look how sparkly they are. Look at these weird ones on the end. Mm. Time to pop these bad boys in the oven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Right kids, it's the moment of truth. Let's get these out of the oven. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Ah. I think they're probably a little bit darker than they should be. That one's broken up a little bit. Oh. Maybe they're not going to be too bad. They do look a bit dark. Whoops. They feel a little bit soft and squishy, so maybe they'll firm up a little bit as they're cooling off. Let's see how long these take to cool down. Tempted because that one's broken off. Oh, hot. That bit tasted a little bit burnt. Let's compare it and <laughs> what we've got here. That's what a real one should look like. Let's not put them next to that. Can you tell which one's mine? <laughs> As someone who has recently um, announced that they don't actually like shortbread, are you excited about trying these shortbreads? Can you tell which one's not mine? There's only one there I like the look of. <laughs> is, there, is that the... Uh, would it be that one? Maybe. Okay, well I would suggest not having a really dark brown one. Maybe go, maybe have a bite of this one. A bite? Am I only allowed a bite? You can, well, you can have I the whole thing. Well, have a bite of that and then have a bite of that and... Mm. It doesn't taste horrible, but you've lost, te you've lost the texture. Crumbly texture. It's too crumbly. That's how it should be. They're right now, it's thick, I'd say. Mm. I actually really like that. I like the crumbliness of it. It tastes buttery and sweet, but it's crumbly. It's too crumbly. You only have to dip it in a cup of tea. I have never successfully dipped shortbread in anything. Hmm. I'm going to 
going to try this one. I'm going to try the massively burnt one. Oh, I don't like that. Because that is going to taste burnt. Yeah. Taste burnt. Yeah. Why are you still eating it? They're not horrible. Why did you do them so thin? Um, I didn't realise I had... Well, the thing is, once you've rolled it, you can't really squish it back together again without it all melting. Really? Yeah, that's why I had to go in the fridge for 20 minutes before. Uh, I don't think it was a bad effort. Do you like how sparkly they are? It's quite festive, isn't it? Sparkly from the caster sugar. Yeah. That one's lumpy with caster sugar. It's um, it's like the Strictly version of shortbread. Strictly come shortbread. Yeah. Mm. It definitely looks like it's had a fake tan. <laughs>